for daily ass credit. Redditors who have a job where they go into other people's homes. Plumbers, electricians, etc. What's the weirdest most disturbing thing you've seen while working in a customer's house? Was a carrier for the post office. When you first start you only have one route one day a week. Every other day you cover for someone who calls in sick or is on vacation or something like that. So one day I covered for a different carrier who was sick. I get to one house and they have four packages. On the front door there was a sign that said please don't knock or in just open door and leave the packages behind the door. So I'm like, okay this is weird, but whatever it must happen a lot, because the sign was old and dusty. So I open the door go in the house is normal I bend down, to put the packages down neatly. As I rise back up there is this old dude had to be like 60 to 70 just standing there in tight ass jeans tight ass tank top with a clearly dyed jet black mustache drinking beer out of a can with a straw. I naturally got scared for a second. So I tell him sorry you scared me, I didn't see you there. And he just says that's cause I wasn't here. So I just say well I'm sorry, and start to leave, and he says hold up where is so in. So I say oh she is sick, so I will be covering for her today and possibly tomorrow and his words verbatim were nice maybe she should stay sick a while I'll make sure to wear something cute tomorrow I fake laugh, and got the hell up out of there was a firefighter another time in my life. Had a middle of the night call to a mobile home for an elderly lady once. We walk in and it's dark, but as my eyes start to adjust I think oh that's weird wallpaper. I keep looking around her, it's on the ceiling too. Weird inconsistent patterns and rectangle shapes. Eyes adjust some more, while we are talking to her. WTF. Are those puzzles? She had hundreds of puzzles that she had glued when completed and then glued them to every surface of her mobile home. Walls, ceiling, living room, bedroom. Every square inch covered. Weird. But you do you. Especially in your own home. Certainly not as bad as most it. <laughs> Disturbing? Not at all. Weird. A bit. I was a medical equipment delivery guy for a couple years. Went into a dementia patient's house and had to instruct his caretaker on how to set up a large e-tank of O2. As I was kneeling down, my phone went off with my really low-key notification tone, which was a singular beep. Well the pet bad nearby seemed to have taken a shine to that noise and mimicked it perfectly in tone and volume. The caretaker and I looked at one another with her saying I've been here for 6 years and he's never done that before. From then on, every time I delivered and knelt down to re-educate the caretaker, SOP demands it, that bad would instinctively ping me until I let my phone notification sound go off, after which the bird would celebrate by bobbing his head up and down and turning in a circle. Edit, this blew up. The patient's is staying. Something tells me a caretaker for a dementia patient would need quite a bit of it. Friendly reminder to check in on your older friends and family who choose to live alone or with very little supervision with home care. They miss you. A lot. I'm an electrician and I was troubleshooting a bad outlet in the bathroom of a former NFL player. I was taking all the outlets apart following them to see if I could trace out the homerons when he comes in and starts talking football. We are in the middle of talking when he just walks over to the toilet and starts taking a shit. I couldn't see him, but there was just a little pony wall between us. He didn't even stop telling his story, it was crazy. I walked out because of the smell. He came out a little later and it was like nothing ever happened. Used to deliver oxygen to people's homes. Saw plenty of weird things. Lots of hoarders, but this one took the cake. He didn't want to let us into his house, but I had to do a home safety assessment before I could set up the equipment. He was anxious about letting me in because his house was mess. He kept telling me about his messy house. Come to find out, it wasn't just messy. It was filled with 200 chickens. He was proud of his show chickens and wouldn't let them live in a barn or coop. The smell was unbearable. Other than that, he was a super nice guy. I was a paramedic in Oakland and once I was in a home where a child has been bitten by a rat in her crib. 
As we were standing there talking to the mother about her options Arad walked up to one of the firefighters and bit his boot. The firefighter stomped to the rat to death and the rat was taken to the health department for testing. That was a strange situation. Long ago I did estimates for fire and water damage repairs for a restoration company. This couple had a smallish fire in their bedroom. When I enter the home it's seemingly normal. Smells like smoke. There was a fire. Makes sense. They take me to the bedroom. And it was the mattress that had endured the majority of the fire. Along with some of the wall above the head of the bed and smoke damage to the ceiling. Next to each side of the bed are 10 gallon buckets filled to the brim with cigarette butts. And hundreds of spilled over butts all over the floor. I was just in, or how they could live like this in their bedroom, especially since the rest of their home seemed tidy and normal. Also completely beyond me, why they wouldn't clean that shit up after the fire, if for no other reason than insurance or justice being able to blame them, rightly, and possibly not pay out. How did the fire start I asked. Required to ask. No idea the husband replied, 